Paul LaFrance here, and today I'm with my pals from Regal Ideas to talk about their component aluminum railing system. So what makes this system so great? Well, not only does it install in a snap, but 20 years down the road, it's gonna look exactly the same as the day you put it in because it requires little to no maintenance. What's even better is that for homeowners and contractors alike, it installs in three easy steps. Come on, let me show you. The Regal Aluminum Railing System, it could not be simpler. Eight basic components. Posts that come in various widths. Top and bottom rail. Pickets that come in various widths. Various fasteners. Various brackets. Your glass gasket and rubber blocks. Tempered glass. And last but not least, your gate kit. This is almost too easy, Dave. So easy, we might be able to make our tea time. Tea? tea? No, golf. Oh, right, right. Now, even though Dave and I are known throughout the land as decking and railing rock stars, from time to time, he and I have to refer back to the plans. Not all the time, just some of the time. But with Regal Ideas, they make this part super easy with this handy-dandy layout planner. On the front, you have all your instructions on how to lay out the deck, and on the back, a nice graph paper for you to actually do the work yourself. Once it's laid out, we advise, particularly for you guys out there that don't think you need instructions, refer back. It's a good idea. What makes these posts unique is that the brackets are actually welded to the post as opposed to screwing on an individual piece. And the post itself is made from 100% pure aluminum alloy. Right, Dave? Mmm, that's pure aluminum. You bet it is, Dave. That means that not only is it tasty, but it's also the strongest post on the market and the easiest to install. That's a trifecta. The only tools you'll need to install your Regal post are a drill with a socket bit, a tape measure, a pencil, and your approved fastener. Your first step is wherever you are going to be installing your posts, you're gonna mark out from the edge of the deck one to two inches. In this case, we're gonna mark it in one inch from the edge of the deck, like this. And just like that, we're ready for install. With proper underblocking installed, fasten your post in place with only one to two fasteners. It's very important to note that you don't fasten them all the way. You want to have a little bit of play in the post. It'll make your life a lot easier when installing the top and bottom rail. Don't go all willy-nilly on us. Now, as you can see, we got a nice amount of play. We're gonna install the other two posts, and in a little while, you're gonna understand why we have to leave the posts this loose. Stay tuned. I, I kind of told them that it was for the top rail. You already uh, told them? But, but stay tuned anyway. Stay tuned anyway, yeah. It's good you make a valid point. <laughs> Wiggly, you would think it's not installed properly, but it is, for now. Wiggly wiggly. Middle post. Step two, installing top and bottom rail. Now remember we left the post with a little bit of movement, so you wanna make sure you take your measurements at the bottom of the post. You're gonna measure inside post to post and subtract a half inch. And another thing that's super convenient is the fact that on the top and bottom rail packaging, all the instructions for the entire system are right here. Right here, how convenient. Another cool factor is that you don't have to have a fancy chop saw to be able to do this installation. Because the brackets on the posts are an inch and a half deep, all you need is a hacksaw, because the cut does not have to be straight. It's never going to be seen. It doesn't even have to be pretty. What are you doing down there? So now that our top and bottom rails are cut, we finally get to reveal our secret as to why we didn't fully fasten these posts. So, Dave, if you'll do the honors. Absolutely. If we assume that both of these posts are plumbed up and fastened, the one side of the top rail will slide into the bracket no problem, but the other side... I've got no room. There is no room. But because we've left some play in the post, it'll slide into that top rail like a glove, no problem. And then all you have to do is drop your bottom rail in place. And now we're ready to plumb up our posts and fully secure everything. Secret revealed. And now you're going to take your uh, two-foot level or a torpedo level in this case and plumb up these posts so they're perfectly vertical. And Dave, 
It'll fasten it into place. Get your arm out of Sorry, way. sorry. All right, before moving on to step three, the last thing we have to do is drill holes into the bottom rail to allow water to drain out. But the nice thing is, is that the posts already have a weep hole in the bottom to allow the moisture to drain out there. All right, now that we've completed step one and step two of our Regal aluminum railing system, we are now ready to move on to step three. Pickets or tempered glass panels. We are so close. Mm. It smells like real tempered glass. <sighs> Step three, picket installation. Another great innovation by Regal Ideas is the patented locking picket system. It locks the top and bottom rail together. And what makes that great is there is no need to have a center leg support or the need to have screws drilled in to give the railing the support it needs. Now, if you haven't had the need to cut the top and bottom rails, it means that you can start assembling your pickets starting from one side all the way to the other, and all the pickets will be symmetrical. In our case, because we've had to cut, we are going to start in the center and work our way to either side symmetrically, like this. Watch how fast this goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the way that locks. So you know it locks into place when you hear that magical click. Now you know that it's not going anywhere. It's important when you're getting towards the end of a section to put the last three pickets in together. It'll make it a lot easier for getting the spacers in. Step number three, part two, inserting your tempered glass panels. We have our glass vinyl inserts, which we have already cut to size, and these are inserted into the bottom rail until they clip in, just like so, and into your top rail. Thank you, Dave. That part's easy. Then you want to take your rubber support blocks, put them an inch in from the edge of the glass, and just like that, we're ready for our tempered glass panel. And to show you how easy this is, Dave is going to do this without my help. Always be careful when installing tempered glass not to knock the corners. There it is. It's inserted. It's done. It's resting on the rubber blocks. This whole installation really is easy as one, two, three.